Hey, my name is Amelia Zeev and I am the blog editor for Spectrum's new Spectrum Spotlight series. I am here with Lachlan Watson, aka Susie from the new Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Lachlan, how are you doing? I'm a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> What got you started in art? Like, what is the first memory that you have thinking back where you're like, whoa, I feel like an artist? I feel like I always grew up around art. I always grew up in a really artistic family. and I was also brought up through community theater. And so I think I always sort of considered myself an artist. And I was always a little bit of a wacky kid. So I think I had a lot of art in me. So tell me a little bit more about your journey with queerness. It started when I came out as as gay. I came out as lesbian when I was like 13, I think. And I started feeling like it wasn't, that wasn't it. I wasn't done. And so I started exploring more and thinking more. And I, I came to the conclusion that I was transgender. I, I lived as a trans man for, I think about two years. And it was a really hard time in my life and I still didn't feel like I was there. I didn't feel like I'd made it. Like they tell you, you go from point A to point B and then you've made it. And I didn't, I didn't feel that. And so I think from there it was a bit of a, a slow descent into just complete lack of gender. And I, I started questioning more and I started critically thinking about what boxes I was still putting myself into and, and why, and, and why I felt the need to cage myself so. And, and I think I really explored that through clothing and through makeup and, and realizing that you don't have to let your body define you. You've got to open your mind because your mind is, is really the cage. And I think through clothing and, and through fashion, I started to understand more that I was still boxing myself in. And I think from there, I've just sort of become more comfortable with not defining my queerness and, and opening myself up to a whole new world of, of queer. <laughs> What advice would you have for a young queer artist who's kind of coming into themselves, or even just a young artist in general? I think the biggest thing is to not be afraid of failure. Because that's the only way you can succeed in this world, is if you do it enough wrong that you finally figure, figure out how to do it right. And, and full circle, if we just stop limiting ourselves, and we stop telling ourselves what we can and can't do or what's acceptable and what's not, then the possibilities are endless. All art is, is beautiful art, and if you just allow yourself to think that way and you allow yourself to think of yourself and your art as beautiful no matter what, then I, I think there's a lot of freedom to be found in that. Identifying as non-binary, in real life, how do you feel like that influences your characters and the roles that you play in film? Funny enough, I feel like it doesn't influence it at all. I feel like what influenced my characters and my craft was when I did limit myself, was when I forced myself to fit this, this man mold. That's when I, I couldn't get out of the cage I'd made for myself, much less break out and, and become a different character. And so I think when I finally came to terms with being non-binary, I was no longer limiting myself. And, and now I want to play everything. I want to do everything that I, that I wouldn't let myself play earlier. I want to play a woman. I want to play a man. I want to play none of the above just to show that being non-binary means that the laws of gender, the rules of gender no longer apply to you or, or confine you. And that's what I want to show the world is, is we've, we've trapped ourselves in this, in this queer box of queer people can only play queer people and queer people can only do queer art, and queer people can only make queer film, and that's not true. Because we are human, we make human art, we make human film, and I can play human characters. That's the craft, that's, that's acting. We spoke earlier about how the role of Susie Putnam, who you played on The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, kind of adapted because of your place in the role. How do you feel about that? It feels amazing. It feels fantastic to be given a voice in a space that is notorious for silencing people. It's been a beautiful experience to be able to shape and create this person, this human, and I think just seeing the amount of, of DMs on Instagram and emails I get from so many kids who are like, I've never seen this before, thank you for showing this to me, 
you've made my life so much better and more positive because I can finally articulate what I've been feeling for so long. It's just, it's been an honor. And I just hope that's what I can do with my life, is I can just keep doing more of that, and keep affecting more people and, and showing people that being who you are is okay. <laughs> cool, all right. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just like, starts crying. Yeah. <laughs>